Welcome back guys to another video. Let's go ahead and check out how we can install Android x86 on the Jaguar board. Now the Jaguar board sports an Intel processor, an Intel Atom to be precise. Now uh, Android x86 can natively run on that uh, and also it has uh, an Intel HD GPU so that makes everything even better. So first of all to download a very specific image of Android x86 we need to go into Android uh, x86.org slash download now here we can get all the files that we need actually we need just one file so we'll scroll down and we can see the android x86 64 5.1 img file now we need this specific file because this is an efi compatible file so this means it will properly boot in our efi uh, Jaguar board so our EFI uh, so our Jaguar board only runs on the EFI bootloader so once we have that downloaded we need to open the app called win32 disk imager now it's a widely available app and I will link it down in the description and before opening that we need to uh, place in our pen drive so there we have the pen drives in position and now we can go ahead and select our device and make sure this device is the correct one so uh, and that is because uh, it will erase everything now we just uh, press this uh, icon and uh, we navigate to where we have downloaded the android x86 image uh, double click it and there we go now we need to select write so that writes the data to uh, our pen drive and beware it will remove all the data from the USB drive select yes and it will start to flash the USB device and once that is done we can connect it to our Jaguar board and then boot from it all right so with the pen drive all set up and uh, plugged into the Jaguar board we can finally boot it now do remember while booting the board you need to continuously hammer the delete button in order to get into the BIOS. Once in the BIOS, all you need to do is go to the boot option and select the pen drive as the uh, primary boot option. Uh, so in my case, it would be UEFI Jet Flash Transcend 16 GB. It can be anything in your case, uh, depending upon what hardware you are running. So once the changes are done, uh, save configuration and exit and you will boot into the Android installation. Now once there all you need to do is select Android x86 installation. Alright, so in this uh, we get an option to select our boot drive, our boot partition. Now make sure that the partition is MMC BLK 0P4. Now that is the partition you really want to use as that is a 13 gig partition and uh, it will actually work pretty well so we select that and we do want to format it to uh, ext4 or ext3 i will actually i will actually go with ext3 and we'll press enter and select yes and it will start formatting the partition to ext3 which would be very quick uh, now we do want to install the bootloader otherwise we won't be bo able to boot into Android so we'll select yes uh, we do want EFI boot again for the same reason and uh, we can format the boot partition no problem we do need uh, to write the system as read write because 
uh, that means that we would have a rooted version of Android and we can hack uh, it pretty much as we want so again we will be selecting yes and once that is done it will uh, write us uh, some amount of data onto the internal flash storage and we should be done soon enough and it really doesn't take too much time just a few set seconds and then we can select reboot and it will reboot now again just to make sure uh, I'll go back into the bias and change the boot uh, partition back to uh, the first one so let's go to the boot option and from what I'm guessing it should be UEFI OS and that should boot us into android yes so we can see we have android uh, 5.1 rc1 we'll select ok and it should start booting anytime now all right so there we have android x86 running on the jaguar board of course the boot will take some time but everything should work really really well and really really smooth Do keep watching out and uh, do keep a lookout. I will upload more benchmarks on Android because I'm really interested uh, to see how Android performs uh, on this Intel processor as well as Intel HD graphics. Uh, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.